Welcome everybody, I am Anna uh, from physicandphotography.com um, Here I'm going to do my first video tutorial I'm going to do it's going to be really short and about how I edited this picture of the trees with motion blur So here I have the image, the, the JPEG that I've put into Photoshop So first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J And then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur and motion blur. So you can see here the preview. There's two parameters you can change. First is the angle of the blur, the direction in which the blurring occurs. So I like it at 90 degrees because you know trees are the trees are vertical. And then the distance will determine how much the blur happens. So I like it at 1,000. So I'm going to do it like that. So I like like this. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK because I like it. However, there's some things that I'm not quite happy with, which are these lines at the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate the layer again. I'm going to call this one first blur uh, motion motion blur 1000 pixels at 90 degrees. I'm going to duplicate the layer control J. I'm going to use the he spot healing brush to get rid of these lines. So I got that selected. So I just click on them and they will slowly disappear hopefully there we go it takes a few tries so let's continue I think they look a bit too artifacty so that's why I want to get rid of them some of them are really like this fade in keep on doing this but as many lines as I like so probably about these these ones are not that bad but then you can see the image looks a little bit this part here looks not so nice so I'm going to go ahead this one is called cloning oops cloning and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this control J and do another motion blur so I like the same parameters again you can see that all these lines are pretty much gone and I like the extra blur, so I'm going to do the same. Okay. So this is all really nice, but there's a few colors here that I don't like. I really want this to be black and white, so I'm going to make a black and white layer. Um, find black and white. I also want to increase the contrast such a little bit, so I'm going to do a curved layer. So I like doing it with layers so it's non-destructive. So I want a bit more black for my picture and then also maybe a bit more white and some contrast so I just you know play around with it and then see how it goes so yeah that's it this is the end for now uh, you can find me at uh, physicsandphotography.com if you would like to read my tutorials uh, so yeah thank you for watching